Okay, well, mm, I just don't know. I think I might need another drink after this. You ever heard of cap and trade? More specifically, have you heard about what Obama plans to do with cap and trade? Well, we all knew the Dems were in a position. They were trying to save the world within 90 days of Barack taking office. Everything from health care, the economy, climate change. Hell, if you throw enough money in the situation, something's bound to happen, right? I don't think any of us expected the people who Obama preached to during the campaign about helping out so much were going to end up being the people who would be hit the hardest with this little quagmire of liberal agendas and all this spending fucking ridiculous amounts of money on stuff. Let's see. Let's see what he's saying right here. Hold on. Let me pull this up. Climate revenues funded universal health care and other liberal spending uh, agendas. Well, you know, I'm listening. Let's see what he's really talking about. He did, after all, say change a few times in the uh, campaign, if I remember correctly. But wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So here it is. Hold on. It seems in middle of America, middle America is going to be the ones that take the brunt of all these taxes on carbon emissions. If you look at the annual rate of carbon consumption amongst each person in middle, Ameri middle America and compare them to someone living along a major city along the coast or somewhere, and you put the same uh, implementations that you'd find on Obama's plan, then those who are in the larger cities and have more people around them are, in, are going to end up being taxed much lower than those who are in a smaller city even if they use more carbon just because they're in a bigger fish, or I mean a bigger pond, you know what I'm saying? Bigger fish, smaller pond, smaller fish, bigger pond. This basically boils down to those who are in a position where the money goes to them like food, gas, power, and et cetera, they're spending their money on things that they have to just to survive, are going to be in far more tax than those who are in more of a more position to live an entrepreneurial life, so to speak. Some, something that they're, they're more of the investor class. And basically, yeah, he's a... Uh, He's doing something that I never he said change. I never thought he meant this. But he's redistributing the wealth, all right. But I bet you didn't uh, see him taking away from the poor guy and giving it to the rich investor. Is this perhaps something to spark the economy? Or is this just another ploy by another similar politician who's doing the same things that he and everyone else that's been in his position have been doing for years? Rather than sticking to their guns and fighting something that actually could be fought? You know... I'm a very conservative fellow, but I thought that he had a very good chance to do something incredible with this campaign. If he can stick to it and doesn't have to digress, it doesn't let Congress and Nancy Pelosi and all those fucking idiots in Congress take him off his plan, he really can make something good change. He's going to have to get away from this crazy liberal doctrine, though. Sweden is telling us that we're being too socialist. Sweden. I think I'll, uh, I think I'll leave you with that. Let you marinate on that for a little while. Sweden.